What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? This is LT, the world's most famous artist, coming at y'all. We are doing an adulteress meets the light of the world. This has been an ongoing project for quite a few months. Um, I pulled off from the project to attend to other projects and business and such. Since then, the inspiration for this piece has been building and building and building. I put in some research uh, to get more of an in-depth, realistic, historical feel and view to put into the piece. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and fire it up. Uh, I appreciate anybody that has been following this project. Um, any support is welcome. Positive prayers, positive energy. Donations. You can go into my clothing store. We have that going up now. Um, even just a friendly comment, a share, subscription. All right, y'all. Let's get this thing going. We're jumping back into this project after upon doing some research. Um, you know, kind of changed my whole perspective view on my idea of this painting all together. Um, I went all the way back into doing research to the first century and I got quite a bit of sources from YouTube and Jewish historians and cultures and such and I found the, the best historical descriptions that I could of the clothing that Yahshua wore and people in his time and it best was that he you know pretty much wore a white claw shawl or shawl excuse me and it was said that they had these tassels they all had these tassels which the Jewish males they have these tassels and they had these blue fabric that's entwined and weaved in these tassels that hang down at the side and then upon on the crest front side of their shawls on the back they had like the shape of like a cross v's that are blue so you know get a better representational view of what he actually wore historically and like like realistically, you know, compared to what we have been fed, you know, throughout just, you know, cultural norm and being over in Western culture and such, you know, just throughout time, this is getting into what he actually, you know, physically, like a true interpretation best upon my researchers and others that I would find, you know, thus going in. And the perspectival view that, you know, keep in mind from other, you know, sessions that this is a, like a dream state almost inside of the mind's eye, the third eye. You know, this is why it's, it's almost going into a portal, but it's also a reflection, but it's also in the mind. The best way to describe it. I'm still breaking more into the detail what the women wore but along the lines they wore shawls as well which covered their hair and their leggings and such and then the men they wore like uh, he, Yahshua was considered you know, to be a holy, you know, holy rabbi so of course he wore, wore the shawl but the common men they would you know they would wear like basically Describe, you know, it could be as you know, tunics, and then they had, you know, belts over the tunics. They also had the tassels as well. Um, the Jewish culture, they they handmade all their clothing. Um, they did it from sheep, and they would get their dyes from different plants and rocks and stuff like that. Uh, the representation of I, I at the top of the piece, that is a representation of angels. And that's 
myself to put more of a, you know, a mystic side into this, because this already is a dream sequence that, you know, I'm doing, you know, upon mixed with the historical, you know, viewing uh, the scene from the, the story in the Bible, and also the colors representing it, I wanted to get into, like, representation, you know, with the phoenix and the angels, and also, uh, the peacock, because the peacock is another representation for the you know, birds and the phoenix throughout you know, spirituality and time. You know, it's gone on to carry in. It's, it's like the representation of change and such. Um, if you notice from the beginning that I did, he was facing towards us more. And his facial description, I've honestly, you know, came to the spiritual conclusion that it doesn't really, you know, what his message was at the time and what still could be taken is that we all are sons and daughters of God and we all have the potential to be Christ, to do what he did and then some. I remember that. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this journey thus far. I am continuing. It's, it's, it's developing and fully manifesting, but it's happening. Uh, much more things to come from this piece. If you look at how his hand is, like he's, he's presenting authority, you know, over the situation. And then his other arm is pointing down because in the story it says that he leans down and he draws in the sand and the men, the crowd there, the accusers, you know, they don't, they don't necessarily know what he was doing, but in the story he was depicting that he was, you know, the writer of the law. So instead of me you know, having him do that, this is going to be like an interpretational uh, symbol. I'm going to have his finger pointing down to the ground and then I'm going to, I'm going to add in, you know, some writing to, you know, to do that in a way. I also like how I represented this video going by so fast, you know, versus this was an hour long session that I did, but I broke it down to like 10 minutes. But, you know, it's a good representation of how life really flies by so fast. I mean, you see all the cars going by and how the wind and the sun is moving. I mean, the Earth is supposed to be spinning like millions of miles an hour. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of trippy if you think about it for a minute. You know, just catch all this into a moment. You know, this time capsule, this piece that's being created before you, it's, it's kind of cool. You know, that's why one thing I've always enjoyed, you know, honestly about just art in general. You know, it's, it's taking all these.